From the moment you walk through our doors till you walk on your new floor, Price is right for you. Good day, and welcome to Food Woofers, the smackdown of Chowdown. I'm your host, Big Joe Stout from thefoodbeat.com, and sitting behind me are today's Food Woofer contestants. And in just a few short minutes, they're going to be slurping savory seafood to see who will be the new or current and consistent Food Woofer champion. But before we get into the who and the why, let's talk about the place where we're getting this fine seafood feast from, Cafe Lunarosa. Cafe Lunarosa on A1A in Delray Beach, Florida is no ordinary cafe. And I'm not talking about the way they spell cafe. It's a veritable Vatican of verifiable Italian. And not only can you order fresh seafood at your table, the sea is across the street from your table. But Cafe Lunarosa is far more than just a great location. Executive chef Ernie de Blasi explains. We've got a great location on the beach, but we don't like to just rest on that. I like to buy quality ingredients, uh, Parma prosciutto, and a lot of imported ingredients, DOP, stamped San Marzano tomatoes, really officially stamped tomatoes, um, top quality meats, prime meats, fresh seafood, only the freshest, you know, as far as that goes, because we are on the beach, and I work very closely with my purveyors to ensure that. Now throw in some of the best service in South Florida, and it's easy to see why this lunar landmark is one of Delray's most popular places to eat. The menu is loaded with Italian specialties and a wide range of options. But if you just can't seem to find what you're looking for, no worries, according to Nicola Stijak. So very often we just grab those menu from the people and say, this is not library to read the menu. You just close your eyes, go by your feeling, what would you like to have and gonna make for you. And people really appreciate that and we are very proud to please and say no to nobody. There is no end to delicious here. Cafe Luna Rosa serves up Delray's most popular brunch all weekend long. And lunch and dinner are served seven days a week. The dinner menu is stupendous. Grilled veal chop on the bone house-made pastas, pizza for the kids, desserts, and the amazing scampone, the incredible quarter-pound giant shrimp stuffed with crab meat. Oh my God, you can't go wrong with that. And like any remarkable Italian restaurant, the wine list is extensive. But the cafe's trump card for vino superiority is the inclusive representation of Italian wines from all regions. Some people, they will find out that it's very educational because we describe each region and each wine on our wine list. That's why we are very proud of Today, our food woofers will be competing for the gold and the glory at the Wine and Seafood Festival, where Cafe Lunarosa is serving up fabulous freaking fritters of the crab and lobster variety. Um, what, what we did is we got a uh, lump crab and uh, main lobster meat fritter, little Cajun aioli. Also, we have a uh, corn hush puppy and sweet potato steak fries. This first ever street edition of Food Woofers begins after we meet today's contestants. The challenger, Dion the Destroyer Lee. Dion checks in at 5 feet 10 inches and 160 pounds of quivering flesh. He's a Delray Beach resident and is a full-time student. The Destroyer lists steak as his favorite all-time food, and his goal in life is to run for County Drain Commissioner in 2018. And our defending champ, Ty, the mass consumption guy. He's a strapping 6 feet 1 inch, 210 pound Boynton Beach resident. Ty manages a wholesale parts distribution operation, and his favorite food is beer. His goal in life is to have as much fun as possible. Ty won the coveted belt and giant fork by whooping down a 14-inch loaded pizza pie from Puccini's. Can he defend his title? All right, Food Woofers, you prepared for this feast? Yes, sir. An estimate, how much time do you think it's going to take you to complete this? I'm going to honestly say never, but I'm going to shoot for like 10 minutes, 57 seconds. 10 minutes, 57. What about you, Dion Destroyer Lee? Sounds about right. So we're going for a tie, is that what you're saying? <laughs> do you understand the nature of this competition? It is the first one that completes their seafood platter wins the 50 bucks. You both understand that? 
and you will start and you will commence when I say let the woofing begin. Are you ready, food woofers? Audience, are we ready? Let the woofing begin! a food woofer first. We, we've got two disqualifications. We've got somebody throwing residue over here. we got another guy swapping food off platters. Ladies and gentlemen, quite frankly, I'm very disappointed in these food woofers. Can we hear your disapproval as well? 